So this here is my 2015 220 i I have been modifying this car and the goal is to reach 400 horsepower. I know a lot of people are asking me how am I gonna get there? Well, you just have to subscribe to the channel so you follow along with the build. In the previous episode that I released, we were working on uh, the cold air intake, but it's practically a hot air intake because uh, this one is kind of just sucking a lot of uh, engine bay air. But anyways, the reason I went with this one is literally one is for the look and uh, second it was mainly for the sound, the whoosh sound that you get with uh, this open air intake. In the same spirit of chasing sound, today I'm doing a muffler delete. I am not doing a full exhaust. I think the muffler delete is good with what I want to achieve. I want the car to be street legal. Yes, I could get an aftermarket exhaust. I don't, I, I am not that kind of person who will spend too much money for the exhaust system. This one is good. And if I ever happen that I don't want this setup anymore, I can always put back the muffler that comes with this car. This one comes already with two exhaust tip and I wanted to just follow the same pattern, but actually upgrade it to quad tip. And uh, the guys were very generous to do the job. Most importantly, they cut off their, uh, the rear bumper. So, you can get a rear bumper that is on the M Sport line or maybe on the M line like the M240, the M 235. Maybe you can get those bumper and replace it uh, and replace this this OEM one. But I didn't want to go that route. Maybe it will come along the line. I may get the M2 style rear bumper, but for now I am not going that route. All right, so we're going to make a Y pipe here, which one side will come this way and the other one will go that way. And uh, we are still going to keep this one. We're going to hook it up somewhere here. That's where we're going to hook it up here. So what we're doing here, we're just trying some fit, fitment test and uh, we also have our friends just checking around so that we make sure that we have a good So I'm going to let them one. Things are going really well. They've welded over here. This, this is welded. I really like the way they did it. It's really clean. And uh, to keep this up, it's very hot. And to clip this out, that's where it's hanging over here and the over here. I think I like the, the titanium finish. It's not titanium, but there's the titanium finish of this. I really like it. And uh, if you look at how it looks like, not too shabby, but uh, I think I'm good with it. Just going on the budget, but also look nicer. So I don't think I have to buy another bumper. This bumper is good. I'm not going to buy another bumper. Probably the only bumper I'm going to buy is the front bumper. And uh, this bumper is just going to keep it this way because it's good enough with what uh, I am doing. And um, this one is not functional. So I think it's the good way I will do. I will get something that will be functional so that uh, I don't have to spend too much on buying a new bumper. 
All right, without wasting too much time, these guys did an amazing job and uh, let me play the clip right as they finish and you will hear my reaction as they finish the work. All right, folks, and that's about it. My name is Alain. You are watching the 228R build, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.